Prosecutors say this crash was, quote, no accident. The deadly crash wiping out an entire family, all because mommy refuses to follow doctor's orders. Our investigation reveals mommy has had at least five seizure episodes that we know of. And one of these episodes was just six months before the fatal crash. Very simply put, she was told point blank, don't drive. And now it has cost the lives of an entire family of five, including three children, ages 12, 9, and 7 years old. All right, Peter Odom, give me your best yeah. shot. Well, first of all, the prosecutors have to prove that, that she was having some kind of a seizure. If she acknowledged that, then it might be easy to prove. But, you know, unless she was directly ordered by the doctors not to drive, then even that might not even lead to criminal liability. She might have been negligent. Okay. That might lead to a lawsuit. But that's not the same as criminal recklessness. All right. Um, Peter, let's just go through mm -hmm. the facts that you just outlined because um, all of your facts are wrong. Number one, the doctor, <laughs> as I have already told the viewers, and I believe you've got an IFB in your ear, she was ordered point blank, no. do not drive by doctors and nurses, number one. How long before? As How long before? And that makes a difference. If she can show that it was months before, years before, then she might have felt that it was okay to drive. So now and that might not amount to criminal recklessness. Now your argument is, is backsliding. You're going, oh, well, okay, now you're saying she was ordered not to drive, but maybe it was so long ago it didn't matter. What did you say your defense would be? Nancy, my defense is the same as it was when you originally asked me. There may be civil negligence here. This is a horrible tragedy, but it is not criminal negligence. Not every tragedy can result in someone going to jail. I'm sorry. That's not what you said originally. Seema Iyer, what he said originally was the mom would have to admit she had seizures. And um, let's see, what was the other one? There was some other. Oh, and how long had it been since her last seizure? It's been that we know of as recently as six months. Nancy, you keep misstating the evidence, and that is they are alleged seizures. So now you're telling your viewers that there were five seizures. That is incorrect. That is not proof beyond a reasonable doubt. And furthermore, you opened the show saying doctor's orders. Well, Nancy, again, with all due respect, that's misstating the evidence. These are not doctor's orders. Dr. Brian Williams had in his notes issues about the neurologist, not conveying that to a prescription, to a patient and saying, this is an order. It is not an order. And you cannot expect your patients to be as clinically and medically aware as you are as a physician. So again, misstating the evidence, this is not proof beyond a reasonable doubt. And in fact, I don't think it's a homicide. All right, uh, let's keep Seema Iyer up, and could you bring in a three-box Ellie Jostad? I'm reading straight from court documents, Miss Iyer, uh, as you are alleging I'm misstating the facts. Here are the facts from the court documents. You know what? I don't see Seema Iyer or Ellie Jostad. There you go. All right, because I want to make sure I can see Seema. As I read from official documents, the discharge papers to Chavez that she signed indicate do not drive until you are cleared by a neurologist. Also, nurse states, I told her repeatedly, do not drive. Dr. Williams has stated he was almost positive this was a seizure. If there had been another seizure, he would be completely positive. And the reality is, Seema Iyer, is that she, the defendant, knew about all these other episodes and point blank would not follow doctor's directions. Now, I'm reading directly 
from court documents. Are you suggesting the court is wrong, that these people under oath are lying, Ms. Iyer? I'm suggesting, Nancy, that you're exaggerating the magnitude of these statements. I mean, you're talking about Dr. I'm Brian reading, Williams. No, 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 no. I'm reading the point blank. How is this, that exaggerating? Because, number one, the discharge summary is not the same as a prescription written by no, a no, doctor no, no, and an no, order. No, no, no. You answer me. Point Go blank. Ahead, I'm you answer me. How is reading sworn testimony an exaggeration? Do not claim that these witnesses, and I'm reading from what they say, is perjury. Now, how is their testimony exaggeration? Because the nurse now is saying that she repeatedly told Ms. Chavez to see a neurologist. Those are statements made years later. We don't know that the nurse actually did that. But how that are you is why saying it's an me reading sworn testimony is an exaggeration? I'm saying that the sworn testimony is an exaggeration. Ms. We Iyer. cannot be sure of Ms. any of Iyer, these facts. Yes, if you Nancy, dare to suggest that these witnesses, a neurologist and a hospital nurse, are lying under oath, is that what you're saying? Well, think about it, Nancy. They're probably going to be sued for malpractice at some now, point. Now, I'm asking you, are you saying they're lying? Because, first of all, you said I had a I misstatement said exaggerating. of facts. I said exaggerating. First of all, you said I had a misstatement of facts. Those were your words. Then you it said, is a oh, misstatement no. of facts. Your screen that comes up on your show says alleged seizures. So, factually, they are not seizures. You're putting them forth you, as alleged um, seizures. Are you an MD or a JD? A JD. <laughs> right. Okay. But I am a forensic science specialist, so... With that, right. I'm listening. Now, yes. back to what we were saying. First, yes. you said that my rendition was a, a misstatement of facts. Now, I have I read to you from official court documents. Now, you're saying, okay, that's not a misstatement. That's an exaggeration. So, who's exaggerating? I'm reading from a court document. Straight out to Charlene in Florida. Hi, Charlene. What's your question? Hi, Nancy. First, I'd like to say I don't know how you do it, because if I had to talk to Peter Odom and FEMA Iyer, I'd probably shoot myself. Um, yeah. That's I, why like, I don't even own a weapon. I don't even want to be tempted. Okay? I, I Go don't ahead. blame you. I would like to say that I am almost disgusted being on this planet anymore. What happened to personal accountability? If you are suspected of seizures and the doctor's notes tell you, do not drive until you are cleared by a neurologist, FEMA, I, or maybe you need to go back and get some more education. 